Learn to make your very own felt snail stuffy. First, gather your materials of felt, the template for the tracing, and fabric, needle, embroidery thread, and uh, embellishments like buttons and other things you might want to add on, as well as your pipe cleaners for the antenna. Start by tracing the snail body on the felt and cut that out. You'll need three pieces for the felt snail stuffing. Once you have those three pieces, you can set them aside. Next, take your uh, long strip of fabric and prepare it to make the snail shell. Fold it in half long ways and fold it inside out so that when you're sewing it, the stitching will be on the inside. Prepare your needle and thread and begin stitching a whip stitch around the bottom and side opening. Be sure to leave a space open in order to fill your snail shell. Over halfway there, you're gonna keep sewing. This is a good illustration of the whip stitch, which allows you to combine those two edges together. Tie off the end once you've made your tube. Now fold the tube inside out so that the pretty part of the fabric is facing outward. You should have a long tube that you will be stuffing for your snail shell. Now take some of your filler stuffing, polyfill, we're using scrap fabrics and old yarn, anything sort of soft that you want to fill your snail shell with and begin filling that shell. You can move the fabric around and position it into place as you're filling that tube. Practice rolling the tube some and forming the snail shell as you go to see how it lays out with the filler. You can take some thread and seal that together uh, to hold its shape. Now take the three pieces of the snail body that you cut out earlier from the felt and get those ready to sew together. You're gonna sew these pieces um, sort of in a pyramid shape in order to align them up to create your snail body. First, take two pieces and sew together at the neck 
in order to start sealing that body. Continue sewing along, and once you've sewed two pieces together, bring in the third piece and start attaching that at the head. Continue using the whip stitch and attaching all the pieces together. You might have to move the pieces around some as you go just to keep them in place as you stitch them together. Continue stitching until you have the body mostly formed. Next, begin filling the body. Start with something heavy like beads or rice and beans even, or other items that can weigh down the stuffy. And then start filling it with your polyfill or um, yarn scraps, fabric scraps, and those filling materials that you can stuff the stuffy with. Once you've filled your snail stuffy, you can begin sealing it off using the whip stitch to close it up. Next, attach the shell to the snail you can use extra felt if you need to attach it, or using the lip of the fabric, you can attach it as well. Attach the shell on both sides of the snail. Now you should have your snail body and shell finished, and it's time to add antenna, eyeballs, and other accessories you might wanna to add to your snail. So get your pipe cleaner, buttons, and some more thread to add the finishing touches. Take a pipe cleaner and slip it through the head in order to form the antenna. Then take some needle, thread, and buttons to attach as eyes. Tie off any loose threads. And you've sewn your very own felt snail stuffy out of creative reuse materials.